Let's make some coconut curry chicken. Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and I've spent a lot of time over the last few years trying out and recreating some of my family's favorite dishes. Coconut curry chicken. Whenever I make this, my son, the picky eater, always asks for more. And my husband suddenly emerges from the depths of the unknown, so hoping to get a little taste. So, let's get started. First, you're going to make your rice whichever way you're used to. I'm going to be making mine in a clay pot. Next, cut up two bell peppers into large pieces. Mince four cloves of garlic and one shallot. Chop up one yellow onion into large pieces. Then cut four large potatoes, or the equivalent of four large potatoes, into one inch cubes and cut up two to three pounds of chicken thighs into one inch cubes. You can leave the fat on the chicken and it'll dissolve into the curry, making it more flavorful and also making the chicken more tender. But in our family, we usually cut off some of the fat as we're watching our fat intake. Now in a bowl, add one quarter teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of yellow curry powder, one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of water to the chicken. Stir and make sure all the pieces are coated, and then you can set that aside. Heat two tablespoons of butter in a large pot on medium high heat and saute together the shallots and garlic until fragrant about two minutes. Next, turn the heat to low and add in two tablespoons of curry powder and stir until fragrant. My recipe is mild in spiciness, you know, for the kids. If you can handle your spice, feel free to add in more curry powder to your liking. Next, add one can of coconut milk and one can of evaporated milk. Return the heat to high and let the pot come to a boil. Turn the heat to medium low and add the potatoes. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. Then add in the chicken and stir. Finally, Add in your bell peppers and onion and stir and let simmer for about seven minutes. By the way, if you like this recipe so far and you're looking for other food ideas, please consider subscribing below. It really helps out the channel. Now you can add salt and pepper to taste. Finally, assemble your bowl by putting some rice into your bowl and then scooping up some of the coconut curry chicken over your rice. And here it is, friends. Thank you for joining me today. If you tried out my recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out. I'd love to know. Until next time, friends. Mwah!